All right, guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm super excited about this one because I think these guys turned out super, super cute. So I first want to mention that I used a wire that's kind of like, um, I think these are called head pins. I'm not exactly sure, but usually people use them to kind of put through a charm so that it doesn't fall out and you don't have to glue it. Like a, a lot of people don't, don't prefer gluing. I usually glue a lot of my eye pins in but a lot of people like to use these. For this situation, I'm actually using the head pin to make the flower. Okay, my cat decided to join me under the blankets for this voiceover. Yes, I'm filming under a blanket. It's just the best way to do sound perfect. If you hear cat purring, she's currently biting my knee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kiwi. Oh my gosh, she's biting me. <laughs> I do have a 11 week old kitten. If you wanna see more about this cat, I have a vlog channel, so check out Meg's designs for more of Kiwi. Anyways, back to the tutorial. So here you can see me using those small little cookie cutters. Ow, Kiwi! <laughs> here you can see me using the small cookie cutters to make petals and I kind of just, ow! <laughs> that hurts. She's a little biter right now. If anybody, got, if anybody has, has tips on, um, teaching a kitten to stop biting, then please let me know. Anyways, I'm not refilming this voiceover, so we're gonna keep going. Um, here you can see me kind of forming the tulip, and I use chalk pastels to kind of just add a little bit of texture. For the yellow and the pink, I just use like a darker pink and then like an orange for the yellow um, chalk pastel to kind of change it up. Kiwi, do you mind? Um, so yeah, this, it just kind of gives a little bit of dimension and yeah, more texture to the tulip. I had to mix the color green to make this like kind of almost like muted lime green, I'd like to call it. Um, Cause it's not quite lime green, but it's also not like a sagey green. It's kind of a little more vibrant to get the perfect tulip color that I wanted. So I kind of just cut out little random shaped like leaf looking shapes and added little lines in them. And then here you can see me attaching them to the wire. So make sure you're using like a stronger clay for this like i talked about in the last tutorial use emo professional i find that's like the strongest clay and you can see me baking these make sure you're baking them to your directions on your clay i did use uv gel resin for the petals because i wanted them to not break at all so uv gel resin is like the strongest kind of glaze that you can really use for stuff like this so it doesn't break and then i just use sculpey gloss glaze for the top little part of the tulip. So yeah, this is them done. They are in the shop. So if you guys wanna purchase any, you so can. If you guys do make these items, please tag me on Instagram. And yeah, check out my TikTok and my Instagram. Subscribe for way more tutorials. And I'm really excited that you guys are liking these videos. So bye. And um, yeah, check out my vlog channel because Kiwi's currently biting my toes right now. So.